In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can take two different objects and you can cut them and you can make really detailed cutouts if that's what you'd like to do. Inkscape's so cool. Let's jump in. All right, if you've never heard of Inkscape before, it's a completely free tool and it's a great graphics design alternative to more expensive programs like, say, Affinity Designer or Photoshop, Affinity Photo, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw my shape. And so I'm going to go up here to the, the Bezier tool, which is located on the left hand side. And there's a little mode option right here at the top. And I want to make sure that I'm clicking the regular Bezier path, not the curved ones or spiral path. So it's this regular one here. And then I'm simply just going to click, 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 click. And then I'm going to click the very last little node and now I've created a solid shape. Now I can just color this thing simply by clicking along the bottom. I'm just going to make this green for example and that's my shape. I can move my shape around. I've got my shape. All right, pretty easy to do. Okay, so now I want to create a shape inside this shape and I'm just going to make it like a triangle. So I've got my Bezier tool selected again and I'll simply just inside my shape, I'll make a, there's my, shape that I've made inside my other shape. And I can make this a different color, for example. So I'll make this one red. I can change the color, by the way, just over here on the right. I can move it and make it blue or something, but I'm just going to leave it like red. Okay. So now I can move this one around. So let's say I wanted to cut this inside of this. Pretty easy to do. I'll just make sure the object is selected first. So that's my little triangle. Then I'm going to select my larger one. So now I've got them both and I'm holding down the shift key to do that. So click, click with your shift key held down. Then I'm going to go to path and I'm going to go to difference. You'll see it looks like a little cutout next to difference. When I do that, you'll see now I've just got one shape with a cutout on it. Now you may notice there's these black lines inside. And if you want to get rid of those, that's actually the stroke inside or around the object and inside the object. So if you want to get rid of that stroke, what you want to do is over on the right hand side, you're going to see stroke style. You're going to click on that and you'll see there's a width on the stroke style. So when I go down to zero, you'll see now the stroke has now disappeared. The black is now gone. So I like that. We've got our cutout inside of our object. Now let's say we want to have a cutout right along the edge of the object. Hmm. So I'm going to draw another shape. I'll use my Bezier tool and I'm going to go up here to the top, the first node. I'm going to click on that and I'll go down here and I'll do a little jagged cutout and then I'll go up to the top where the node is there. And now to complete my shape, I'm going to follow right along and I'm going to click my very first node. So now I've got another shape. I'll just make it red and I've got that shape sitting on top of my green shape. To cut that, I simply hold down the shift key select both of my shapes, I go to path, difference, and now you'll see that one is cut out as well. So you can really make some cool shapes and you can change the shapes afterwards. That's a really nice feature. So for the last example, I'm going to cut my picture here again, my illustration, but I'm going to create a shape. So I'm going to use the Bezier tool. And in this case, I'm not going to create it completely inside the object and I'm not going to create it completely against the side of the object, I'm just going to draw a shape over here completely outside of the object. So again, I'll just use the Bezier tool. I'll make this a red triangle. So now I've got this shape and I can move this shape. Let's say I wanted to carve out a piece like that. So it's kind of in the, the object and it's kind of outside of the object. Not a problem. I've got it selected. Hold down the shift key. I now select both. I go up to path difference and you'll see now it's cut out exactly the way I wanted it. And this now is a true actual geometric shape. When I click on the nodes, you'll see the nodes now, they're truly cut out. So this is really nice because I could now stretch this if I wanted. I could move this if I wanted by simply moving these vectors around. So it's a great little tool here if you want to make a clean cut, especially if you want to make something exactly the way you want, but you're not exactly sure about lining it up, right? So you could make like a jagged object like that and then you could really get in there and you can go, okay, I really want it to look maybe not like that, maybe more like this, maybe more like that. Hold down the shift key, select both path difference 
and now you've selected and you've created a great looking, interesting, highly detailed object. I hope you found that helpful. Lots of Inkscape shortcuts here on the channel. Here's another Inkscape video so you can supercharge your graphic design skills. Thanks a lot for watching.